Hello there, I'm a massive normal bacon fan and during my recent weekly shop I bought some bacon and then was suggested this isn't bacon, plant-based rashers. And I thought, oh that's quite interesting. I once tried an alternative vegan bacon probably about 25 years ago, I was very young, and it didn't taste that bad. So I thought, I wonder how this stuff's come on now. I'll give it a go and you never know might end up replacing my actual bacon fix. Well, I'm not 100% convinced. Anyway, um, quite extravagant, wasteful packaging, actually, to be honest. I'm slightly concerned it's to disguise the fact that the bacon looks more like fish. Anything interesting on the front here? High in protein, vitamin B12 and iron, proudly GMO-free. So really not that much information uh, there at all. There's a load of guff here about some cheeky guys who invented this. Not really interested in that. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Soya. There we go. Soya, 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 soya. Salt, pea protein, etc. So it's the usual vegan um, amalgamation, isn't it? Anyway, let's open this up and actually see what it looks like. Um, yeah, it doesn't look anything like bacon, does it? It looks, it looks more like a sort of... Um, kipper or something doesn't it some kind of um fish fillet it's in this weird it's got a sort of liquid in there i don't know what that is either anyway time to get my pan on and cook these i think i was going to have these with an egg um which i guess defeats the purpose of eating a vegan food um i am going to have them with butter and toast i'm not going to have like butter and bacon that doesn't make any sense at all i didn't used to have butter on toast actually it was a bit of a re revelation i thought i was being very smart just putting the jam on and then i had some butter underneath it and it made turned it into a luxury um food so uh, i'm going to continue to put butter on okay i've got them out into a pan they look no more like bacon they smell quite kind of they smell smoky but to be honest there's a little bit of a kind of unless i've got something wrong with me there's quite an overwhelming smell there, which I find quite disgusting, actually, but we'll cook them. This is half the packet, by the way, because the whole packet just looked like a lot, given that I'm having toast as well. So um, I better like it, because I'm going to have another portion of them. This is actually my first time using this oven, which I'm a little bit nervous about, because I'm more of an electric oven man, electric hob. Oh, I managed it. Um... Quite impressed with myself. Haven't got round to making a coffee because um, they've kind of gone um, all sizzly already. They seem to be cooking quite fast. I'm going to try and separate them. Um, I mean, half the thing with a lot of vegan products, the successful ones, in my opinion, is because I've watched a lot of videos on this on Atomic Shrimp's channel and also a channel which kind of spe um, specialised in um, vegan bacon. I think Sauce Stash was his name. Um, it's when things kind of look more like the product they're supposed to be. Um, and then the kind of psychology of it takes over a little bit. Um, I'm not really getting that here. Now I know I'm using a metal knife on this pan and everyone's going to scream at me. So I better swap that now. I just had to use the first implement that was available to me. Wondering whether I should have put oil at the bottom of this pan. Because these are sticking to the bottom of the pan. Which isn't an experience I've had with actual bacon to be honest i better get on with this this is moving far too quickly hopefully you can hear me okay let's maybe turn these over okay they're a little bit black and no more bacony on the other side but anyway i'm going to cook them to within an inch of their life not because of any um requirement for the color or anything but because obviously i want to cook them but i'm also now going to wait for my toast I don't usually drink instant coffee, but um, I'm having to in this instance because I don't have any ground beans here. If I'm going to rate the look of these, I would probably rate them 0 out of 10. I mean, okay, 1 out of 10 because they're, they're not the wrong shape, um, but really that's being generous. But I'm being superficial and actually they could taste delicious, let's, let's hope. And this morning I'm going to have um, M&S British Plum and Damson Soft Set Jam. Uh, this channel's exactly like Atomic Shrimp's channel, except that um, I buy my inferior jams from uh, 
the supermarket. In case you're remotely interested, my favourite jams are black currant, plum, uh, that's about it really. Raspberries okay, with a lot of seeds in them and they kind of get stuck in your teeth, which, you know, can be an enjoyable experience a few hours later. Anyway, I'm rather feeling like these sorry individuals, um, I think I'll turn them over again because they're kind of looking more done on that side, to be honest. I think these are kind of done. Um, I can't say I'm super excited about eating these. This is the second vegan product that I've made on this channel. I once made a vegan burger, um, which actually was very good. Looked realistic, um, didn't smell meaty, but in between the bun and with the other constituent ingredients, it was a, a pleasant surprise. I always think, and you know, actually, to be honest, I may be, I'm judging this very harshly. This is a very harsh test. Because really, if I want to be fair about it, I should try this in a sandwich, you know, a BLT or something, or maybe with bacon and eggs, and maybe in a sandwich, so that the flavours are kind of combined with other things. Okay, look, these are coming off the heat now. They are as cooked as they are meant to be, or going to be. Um, as you can see, and the toast is just ready, not particularly impressed at the moment. Riti Ho. So here it is. As you can see, I've poorly spread the plum jam on my toast. Not because I'm incapable of spreading it properly. Um, in fact, I could have, should have put more butter around the edge, actually, so maybe I am incapable. Um, but because sometimes I like to have a bit of variation. I just like a mouthful with some butter on it, and other times a mouthful with some jam. I'm that weird. Anyway, kind of on the plate, it looks a little bit better. It does have a kind of bacon smell to it. Um, it doesn't smell like not bacon, just doesn't look very much like bacon. Anyway, without any further ado, I should actually try and eat this because my, because my breakfast is going to go cold. I'm going to eat it with my hands because I'm uncouth. Okay, my silence is because I'm absolutely horrified at how this tastes, to be honest. It's got a chewiness that's reminiscent of eating meat, but bacon isn't this chewy. Really, that is nothing like streaky bacon or normal bacon. Um, but I've got another portion of this, so I better learn to like it, I guess. I mean, one thing I will say, if you've got a bacon alternative that you think is excellent, maybe you've tried this one and agree that it's not so good, let me know down below and I will try it because um, I'm intrigued. This isn't as good as the one I had like 20 odd years ago. I mean, what this strikes me as is the kind of substitute you'd make if you'd never had bacon before. For me, for my palate, this is virtually inedible. Um, I'm glad I made toast as well, actually, to take away the taste. Anyway, that was a little bit disappointing. Sorry I'm not showing my face. I, um, it's early in the morning. I'm, I look rough. Um, thanks for watching. Do subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Thanks to my loyal patrons who are scrolling down the screen now, especially George Foot, Magnanimous and Meg, Jennifer Jones, and Rob Van Eden. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to finish this reluctantly, and I shall see you next time for another video. With a mouthful of coffee, when you have bacon and coffee, they work well together. They're complementary flavours. This is really rank. I mean, it's personal preference, but objectively it's awful. And as I almost broke the tooth, I'm wondering whether I overcooked it slightly. But. I don't think that's why, I think that's maybe why it's so firm, but it can't be why it tastes so bad. Presumably a food company has tasted this and said, oh yeah, that's the product we want. I, I'm almost retching trying to get it down.